So potassium me metal is very reactive. One of my colleagues who used to work with it described it as evil. The reaction of potassium with water is one of the most pervasively seen reactions in all of chemistry. <laughs> Very satisfying reaction. With almost everyone who sat through a chemistry class having witnessed this reaction. Now many would sensibly assume that no reaction that has been directly observed by so many eyes, including the eyes of university lecturers, has anything of interest left to offer. However, you'd be wrong. Dead wrong. Billions of pairs of eyes have watched this, and none of them have seen what was right in front of them. However, to be fair, that was in the days before you could get a reasonably priced high-speed camera for a couple of hundred bucks. Indeed, what I've since found, I wasn't even looking for. Nor did I have any idea that it even existed. Oh yeah, research rules. So let's start with the simpler observations as a sort of prelude to the unknown. 250 milligrams of potassium, it's about a quarter of a gram, hits the water's surface. There's an initial burst of flame as the hydrogen generated by the metal's reaction with the water flashes off. The metal is then completely submerged. Hydrogen is being generated, but there's no oxygen for it to burn it. However, when the metal resurfaces and that hydrogen mixes with the oxygen, the metal provides an ignition source and it catches fire. By the time the metal's resurfaced, some 250 milliseconds later, it's already molten, telling us that the metal's temperature is already above 60 degrees Celsius. If that rate of heating continues, 120 degrees per second, the metal will boil in about 6 seconds. <laughs> The reaction continues and proceeds to flame off the hydrogen generated at the water-potassium interface. During this time, the temperature of the potassium rises still further and it starts to burn, releasing white smoke. This exothermic, that's heat-generating reaction, also produces strong thermal mixing within the droplet. While the potassium is clearly immiscible with water, that's, it doesn't mix, the matte grey on the metal surface is potassium oxide. This oxide layer is miscible with water and adheres to both the water and the metal. These strong areas of contact are probably responsible, although I'm not sure yet, for all those sparks being thrown out. The liquid potassium drop is somewhat flattened under its own weight. Potassium has about the same density as ice, so it will only just float in water, but mostly what's keeping this above the water is the hydrogen generated at the water-metal interface. Then, not a lot happens for a few seconds. Potassium combustion seems to increase, suggesting an increase in the temperature of the metal. Then there is clearly a strong contact between the potassium and the water, indicating a first attempted explosion. Then a fraction of a second later, at about the 8 second mark, a similar event occurs, resulting in the detonation and complete disintegration of the potassium, and generates a significant and highly symmetrical bubble of presumably hydrogen, although that's just conventional wisdom. But I don't see how you can get a detonation out of a ball of potassium. This is a true detonation occurring at near the speed of sound. Less than one frame on this video, that's four milliseconds. One frame it's there, the next, it's gone. This highly symmetrical ball of gas suggests a highly symmetrical detonation. The detonation evidently takes place underwater as the shell of water completely encompasses the generated gas, clearly in some cases preventing an ignition source from getting to it. This could explain the lack of a hydrogen fireball. However, this was just a first attempt at trying to understand this reaction. I've since got ten times as much footage and a much fuller understanding of what's going on here. And this is frequently the case in studying the unknown. The really interesting stuff I wasn't even looking for. As far as I can tell, I've got the first ever recorded footage of the colour of potassium gas. Just think about that for a second. Billions of eyes have watched this reaction of potassium with water, and none of them have documented the evolution of potassium gas. But to see that, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait to the next video. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of this video, or have an interest in becoming a sponsor of this channel, please contact me by the links below.